coming up in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an animated video using InDesign. Hi, my name is Justin from Ajar Productions. Here in InDesign, I'm going to show you how you can create easy animation. I already have this animation created, but I will go over how it was created. So very simply, I can take any object in InDesign, like this In5 text right here. I can open the Animation panel, which is found under Interactive Animation. When I do open that, I can give it a preset. So this is a fly-in, and all I have to do to set that is just pick from the list. So do fly-in from the top, and then I can make a custom duration. So I think I had that to 0.25 seconds. And by default, it plays on page load. That's exactly what we want. For other purposes, you can have animation that triggers by button, for instance, but that's not what we're going to look at in this video. We have lots of other videos to do that. So if you're interested, subscribe to the channel, check out some of our other videos. Now, once I have the animation as I like it in the animation panel, I can go through and animate other items. I can select multiple items and apply the same animation and then go in and tweak them. But in this case, I have different animations. So you can see from this green line here, it's showing me the direction of the animation. So the arrow is pointing down. It means that animation is going to come in from the top. I have the word animated coming in from the left. GIF maker comes in from the bottom. Version 3, I believe it just fades in. Yep, there's a custom fade in. And the logo here flies in from the right and we can see that if I pan over for you. So those are the basics of creating the animation and then we can adjust and tweak it by opening the timing panel which is also found under window interactive and then we can take these items and arrange the order that we want them to play in. Now I happen to have them in the order I want so they, it goes in five animated gif maker logo and then version three. And what I'm going to show you here is a version 3 feature. So In5 is our premium add-on to InDesign that lets you export your content as HTML5. So you can take it anywhere, you can put it online, you can make all kinds of things with it. And in this case, we're going to export it and we're going to turn it into a video. So once In5 is installed, you get the In5 menu up here. There's two different exporters, an easy one and a full export wizard. I'm going to just say export HTML5. And when I get that open, there's lots of stuff here. Don't be overwhelmed by that. First time using it, use the wizard. It's just a couple of options. And the important thing is I'm just exporting it as an ad. So I click OK. And it'll process the document, export everything. It's optimizing the images. And then when I'm all done, I can click Open in Default Browser. And then here you see it playing in the browser. So that's the, the animation that plays once. It fades out because when I made this as an animated GIF, I wanted it to loop. So I want the screen to go back to its original state so that it could, it could play in a loop. So I'll just hit the refresh button. You can see it play again. And then the GIF maker is a Chrome extension. This is free, unlike the N5 extension for InDesign. And it works with the N5 extension. It works with your N5 content here. So in the GIF maker, normally by default, GIF is going to be selected. It can make an animated GIF right from here, but we've also recently added the option to export an MP4. So I'll just hit record. It opens a new tab, records the screen, registers when the animation is complete, and it creates a video for us. So then you can save the video, and now you actually have an mp4 on your hard drive you can play it with quicktime you can open it in photoshop you can optimize it with handbrake now you have an animated video created with indesign in just a few minutes you didn't have to learn adobe animate or adobe after effects so check this out and if you want to see more like this be sure to subscribe to our channel we've got a lot of other cool things that you can create with in5 and the gif maker thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in a future video